Hi, I'm Amy from Fox Run, and today we are talking about that long winter's nap. Doesn't that sound nice? Hibernation, brumation, and torpor are all animal responses to dealing with the need to conserve energy and slow down. Energy is produced when animals eat, just like putting gas in the car to make it go. However, food sources aren't necessarily available all year long. Hibernation, brumation, and torpor are actually biological reactions to the environment. By slowing down their metabolic rate, animals can conserve energy, have less need for food, and survive lower temperatures. Many of us think of bears when we hear the word hibernation. However, many animals hibernate, including bats, groundhogs, bees, and rodents. Depending on the animal and the climate, they may hibernate for weeks or months. This depends on the severity of the climate and the local food supply. Some animals cycle through hibernation and intermittently wake up. The groundhog does this. Hibernation is much more than sleep. In fact, animals who come out of hibernation may be tired and cranky and need more sleep. In hibernation, animals undergo physiological changes that can be quite dramatic. Their body temperature may drop 60 degrees. Sleeping is a period of rest that has a slower heart rate and breathing rate, but nothing drastic. The brain is quite busy when we sleep. Reptiles brumate. The difference in brumation and hibernation is simple. Reptiles cannot control their metabolic response. As an ectotherm, their body temperature is based on the environment. When the nights get colder and the days shorter, it lets our reptile friends know that it is time to get underground. Turtles and snakes typically go underground where the temperatures are more stable. Reptiles often brumate together. In fact, some ho cohabitate. In the south, gopher turtles dig holes to brumate and are often joined by the eastern diamond rattle rattler who can't dig very well. Garter snakes often brumate in groups. On warm days, they may come out to sun themselves and get a drink. Torpor can be a confusing term because it can refer to a short or long period and can happen at any time of the year. Torpor is a period of decreased physiological activity, such as reducing their body temperature or metabolism. Torpor has a survival advantage. Out of the 61 mammals to have gone extinct, only four have been animals that utilized torpor. Torpor has been observed in hummingbirds as they migrate. The hummingbird needs immense amounts of energy to reach the southern climates. They depend on the fat they have stored from summer pollen. During migration, the hummingbird flies during the day and enters torpor during the night. This allows them to conserve energy needed for flight. For some more info, check out the blog I've listed in the description. Thanks for watching, and I hope you can get a long winter's nap.